Okay, hi, John Termel, and we're in Simcoe Provincial Court uh, with Louis Howard and Mike Spottiswood. And uh, basically, there are two exemptees now. Mike got his exemption last week. Uh, Louis was in court today trying to get the return of his pot back after the Crown withdrew the charges. Now, there's a section that says that anticipating drugstores and pharmacists are going to want their stolen pot back, that you have to make an application within 60 days for the return of a seized controlled substance. Now, in the case of Derek Francisco, the judge ignored the 60 days, gave him back his medicine after seven months. In the case of Louis Howard, Justice Sherwood decided to order his pot destroyed, not give it back to him, because he was supposed to have applied for the return of his pot while he was still charged, not when the charge was withdrawn. So we're going to appeal. At the same time, the judge wouldn't let him use his tape recorder, even though he pointed out that Section 136 of the Courts of Justice Act says that anybody's allowed to tape record their own proceedings for their own notes, and Chief Justice Howland of the Court in 1989 said you don't even have to ask the judge for permission anymore. It's presumed you can tape record it for your notes. And Louis Howard pointed out he was going to do it for his notes. And rather than the judge go look at the regulations, he just decided to not allow it. And then Justice Sherwood did the order saying that the 60-day limit counts and that therefore people who aren't acquitted till after the 60 days can't get their medicine back and he ordered Louis Howard's medicine destroyed. So we'll file an appeal within 30 days and we'll keep the fight going to get it back. And that 30 day, that 60 day limit is an unreasonable number and given a situation where sick people need their medicine back. So this ugly situation about the court ordering the destruction of a guy's medicine because he had to fill a technicality of asking for it within 60 days before he was even acquitted is what they're using to do this injustice. What a sad story, except we still have an appeal. So Mike Spottiswood, well, he filed his motion to quash last week and it had Louis Howard's withdrawal order in it so that he's also pushing for the same, get his charge withdrawn, and he'll ask to have his marijuana back too, as others. And by the way, out in Nova Scotia right now, Todd LeClaire's appeal is going on right now about whether or not he can overturn his conviction on the grounds of the Beano Quash, the five charter flaws in the MMAR, and he was sick with Pitsig 170 exemption if they say the law's alive. So all that's still going on today. So the fight continues, and Justice Sherwood, well, he ordered Louis Howard's medicine destroyed. What a sad story. Thanks.